hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always so let's see what in the name of source is going on here so we do have someone that is deciding to take charge of their life in order to move forward or someone is taking some type of action there's some type of plan uh to bring balance into a situation that involves a toxic group of people that are fighting amongst themselves um there may be some magic going on here behind the scene but it has more sort of do with like mental work um so someone is trying to cause you some type of illusion or a group of people are trying to cause you some type of illusion to get you out of balance out of character things of that nature someone may be trying to steal something from you but they cannot so this is what we're in today um we have the four of uh source out here which means that someone is either sick or recovering or someone may be passing away um, but I'm getting more so a sense of recovering from something. There was some type of magic done to get someone sick. Um, it may be more so of, of like a mental illness. It seems like someone was doing magic magic for you to get sick, but it reversed back. So they're the ones experiencing the mental instability, having chaos, experiencing a lot of uh, a lot of just a uh, uh, confusion amongst each other and in their own lives, right? Um, there is some type of effort to bring balance into this situation. Um, someone may be involved in the law in what is going on because there are some illegal activities going on in here. Um, there are a group of people that may have paid for some type of collaboration to steal something from someone. Uh, and this is someone they may have thought was like a nobody, just irrelevant someone they could just do anything to a star C. So there is some type of collaboration against a star C to bring this person an uh, ending. They're trying to block two people from coming together. And this has to do with work and possibly romance for some of you. So these people may not want you want to see you with a specific person because they know that you will be abundant um, with this person. You two will build some type of empire that these people will never be able to have a hold of. Um, and this is because these are people that operate in the dark. Um, so because they know this is an empire that they cannot take down, they're trying to prevent this. For a lot of you, this group of people or this group of people are just envious and just malicious. There is something with jealousy here, and this is what it is stemming from. It's a lot of confusion. It's like a lot of lies were told to a group of people, and then they just went with it. As you know, in life, there are different people, two groups of people. We have the people that have a mind of their own that think for themselves. And then we have the people that you can feed anything and they'll take it and run with it. Um, so this is the group we are looking at where you can just tell them, hey, this person did this to me. And then they automatically feel the need to come after you, even though it's not true. You've never done anything to anyone, um, which is really sad if you think about it, for people to not have control of their own mind. And this whole aspect of group thinking is really disheartening. Um, it's just really sad to see things like this happening. But there was some type of investment, some type of pay out that was given for a collaboration to undercut someone. This was to prevent someone from being a part of something, from receiving something, from collaborating with something. Um, this is someone showing up as a page of wands as well, which means that this is someone confident. Um, someone bold, someone outspoken, someone that pays attention to the fine details of things. You're also being warned to pay attention to the fine details of things. So there may be something presented to you, something brought to your attention about something. Uh, a group of people were trying to steal a block from you. Um, they may want you living in fear and confusion and things like that. But spirit is telling you to stay calm, keep control of your emotions as you always do, and keep moving forward with life. You are a star seed, so you are someone that's uh, uh, divinely guided, right? You're like a blessing in the uh, universe, on earth, things like that. So you have a lot of beautiful things ahead of you. There is a lot of effort to cause you some type of mental conflict. Is that people want you to be confused on which road to take right someone is being forced to kind of sail to calmer waters to move on because they've been so focused on taking you down destroying your forward movement or just blocking your forward movement and these people are being forced to move on because there are legal 
consequences coming into play. The law is involved. Someone has reached out to law enforcement because people are taking actions behind the scenes to interfere with your pers- your private life. Um, blocking uh, communications as far as emails, text messages, calls. Uh, someone may have uh, gained access to someone like Wi-Fi, things like that. Uh, I know this is something I've experienced recently, so some of you may be experiencing the same thing. Um, so there's just a lot of effort behind the scenes to block some type of forward movement, and I'm not sure why these people are so invested into another person's life. It's really um, questionable. It's, uh, is your are your brain cells working properly? Why are you this con- Why are you this focused on someone else's life? Um, it may be that you, as the star see, when you step into a specific either position, life, company, whatever it is, there could be a lot of changes you are meant to bring into place. And these low vibrational energies are afraid of what's going to happen to them. They know that they will be, they will be experiencing endings when you come about. So they're trying to block you from coming in. Uh, to union with whatever this is or whoever this is, but it's just a little too late, and I don't think they realize that. Uh, so they're going through all of these efforts to make sure that you don't get a hold of whatever this is, but it is divinely guided and divinely meant to be, so you are going to receive it. It is still going to be presented to you. There is something here about a collaboration, and this is part of the reason why we have the higher fan out here. There is an institution that is up against you, and there is an institution that wants to work with you as well. So this institution that is against you has some legal issues coming in as well. Um, And this is going to cause them a lot of financial obligations where they will be having to pay money out to you because of the things these people have gone, the, the length. These people have gone to to invade your privacy in order to block some type of forward movement. And this is because the current employees of management in this company are dark as heck, and they are trying to block you from receiving some type of opportunity. It's almost as though these people want to force you to work with them, to collaborate with them, but it's not going to happen because you're not meant to work with these people. Or for some of you, if you do come about to work for this company, all of these dark workers are going to have to leave in order for you to renew this company, bring new life into this company. So you are the light coming into the dark to to, uh, cleanse out all of that negative energy that people have brought into this company for many, many years, right? And then for some of you, you have an institution that does want to work with you, that does want to... uh, um, you know, build with you because they know you are someone extremely intelligent, someone very creative and very pure at heart. And you, they know that you have good intentions and know that you stand for the truth and things of that nature, right? Um, so there is just a whole lot going on here. I am just curious <laughs> as to why people would have this much energy, right? This is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's like they think the more, the longer they keep going, Somehow they're going to succeed, but it's not going to go in your favor. A lot of these people are experiencing some rule awakenings. A lot of these people working behind the scenes, they are not able to work in public. I mean, as far as they have to do things from behind the scenes, so they cannot do it publicly because um, obviously they will be getting locked up. Some of these people can't even face it because they're cowards. And this is what cowards do, is do things from behind closed doors and then walk out with a whole different persona. Um, and it's just embarrassing because a lot of these people are like old, probably old enough to be your mom, your grandma, your aunties, grandparents. And for them to be scooping to this level, should let you know how broken people can be. Uh, so, so there's a lot of uh, humbling going on here. The universe, <clears throat> the universe is humbling a lot of these people. They're going through towers, right? Some of them are losing finances, homes, um, have a lot of like deaths and things coming up in the family. And I don't think they realize that. It's that you are invested in taking someone down, but then you are the one experiencing the endings and things of that nature. But you're still determined to take someone down. That's a mental, that's a mental uh, um, instability of its own. Um, because if I was, if, if this was me, right, it, I do the first thing 
to someone and then I end up losing something, that's it for me. I don't want any more, but some people are there. Common sense is not a flower that is found in every garden. Let's put it that way. Some people are so committed to to money. They're so superficial, materialistic, and so simple-minded that they will see a specific amount of money. And because they want that money, they don't want you to have it. They think committing themselves to taking you down is going to lead to them blocking you or getting a hold of that money, but they will not. As a matter of fact, if they were to, it would just be a whole lot of karma that they are taking on. Um, and I say this often, I don't think like people that operate in the dark realize that when you go to, to, to this extent to bring uh, blockages and bondages in other people's lives that are in this energy, the star energy, you're not really doing anything to them. You're more so going to that extent to bring endings in your own life. Sometimes you will experience the endings immediately, and sometimes the universe, Mayat, will sit back and let you build your karma up time for a while. So you keep doing one thing after the other, and Mayat is just sitting back and watching you say, oh, okay, okay, keep going. And they're just letting you build it up, and in the meantime, you're under some type of delusion that you are actually doing something. Um, this is like you undercutting someone to get a position or you go and do something malicious because someone tell you, oh, if you do this to this person, I'll give you this job position. And you go and do that. Maya will let you or the universe will let you get that job position. But there's a catch to it at the end for you. That, that position is going to lead to your ending, right? You're going to find yourself unemployed. You're going to find yourself homeless, living in poverty and things like that. The very thing that you intended for this star sea is what you will end up experiencing. So it's, it is an illusion when you are doing something to these types of energies and you are being allowed to get away with it. It is for a specific amount of time. The universe is just letting you seal your own fit. So it's not something that you are going to be able to get away from, right? You are just occurring karma and occurring curses on your lineages. You're going to be losing your businesses, business connections, finances. Your health is going to decline because a lot of these types of people, their self-esteem is dependent on the amount of money that they have in their bank account. They don't understand how people that walk around uh, with, you know, barely anything, can be confident enough to move about in life. They are not relying on resources, and that's because there are two different people in the world. There are people that are not mentally or emotionally strong to have a mind of their own, a heart of their own, their own voice to move to the beat of their own drum. They don't have their own rhythm, so they have to be in groups in order to feel validated, to feel okay about themselves which is sad and this is not their fault this is because of the types of people they have grown up around the households that they come from things of that nature and then we have the second group of people which will be like in this energy the star energy the star sea energy that are self-minded we don't really need a group as a matter of fact we will do anything to prevent ourselves from being part of a group because it's just not something that resonates with us, okay? If you come across the star sea and you want to be friends with them, cool, they will entertain your friendship. But if you turn out to be a, a representative, they're not really going to lose sleep over you because they're not built that way. We don't care if you like us, you don't like us, if you're a friend. We're not here on this planet for friendships. We are here to heal the masses and move on. That's really all we are here to do is to heal people, uplift people, have people in a more positive energy and move on with our lives. Whether those very people we're helping like us or don't like us, it don't make a difference for us because of the forces that are backing us, right? So we don't need a group of people to tell us, oh, we like you. Oh, you can be part of our group. It's actually like, it's, we find those types of things annoying. I don't care about being part of your groups. Specifically for me, I've never been a group person. Like, oh, uh, this is my friend group. We have a group chat. We have a this and we have a that. We hang out after work. We go on trips together. Things like that I really don't find attractive. 
for me, and I know there are different people. Some people are extrovert. I am a chronic in introvert. I don't like people too much. And I'm not saying like I hate people. I just don't like being around people too much. Um, because the way my mind is set up immediately when I come around you, I already know what you are about. So the notion of me going out of my way to force a friendship with you is a, uh, it's a betrayal to myself. So how I handle those situations is like, I just remain calm and friendly to people, kind to people. I'm not a nice person, but I am a kind person. And I think sometimes people confuse those two. They will say, oh, she's not nice. I, I remember I was working this job and this woman, she kept talking about, oh, we were told you were nice and you don't really seem nice at all. I don't think you're nice. I'm going to tell them you're not nice. And I'm just, I keep hearing the word nice, nice coming out of her mouth. And I'm just like, ma'am, I never told anyone I was nice because I know if I tell you that I'm nice, I'm lying to you. I am not nice. I'm kind, which means what I'm doing for you is coming out of the kindness of my heart. It's something logical that I choose to do. I didn't do it because I feel guilty or feel some type of uncomfortable way because if I don't do it, then this is going to happen. When I do things for people, it's for a genuine reason. That is why I say I'm not nice. I'm kind, which means I know if you need something and it is my last thing, I'm not going to give it to you because I know it's something that's essential, imperative for me to have in order for something to happen in my life. So I'm not going to bend over backwards to give something to someone just so I can feel good about myself. That's the difference between being nice and being kind. Kind is logical. Uh, nice is something that's forced. And I don't think people realize that. So when people tell me you're not nice, it's a compliment to me. That means that I have control over the things that I am doing. And a lot of dark workers, because they don't understand the difference between nice and kind, when they see you being kind to people, they think you are a pushover and they can just come come and get anything from you until they F around and find out that that is not the case, right? Lord, that was a whole speech that was not intended. Anyways, you are the queen of swords. You're pulling your swords out on these people because that is exactly what they deserve to do, deserve to have. Someone in here may want to have some type of reunion with you, have some type of meeting with you. It's not happening because you know exactly what has been going on behind closed doors. You know the towers these people are going through, regardless if they are trying to hide it and pretend like nothing is happening. They are being forced to move on with their lives, but they're still, still stubborn. Someone in this group is extremely stubborn. They are so, such a narcissist that they think if they keep doing something over and over, it's going to pay up. It's never going to pay up. By the time this is over, you're going to be watching washing dishes for a living a lot of you will not be able to get jobs anywhere you go they're going to say we are not hiring because by that time this will be on the news you all will be exposed for who you are someone in here is going to be serving a 10-year prison sentence um law enforcement is already involved in here there's a queen of swords that is going to jail will be facing legal consequences and this person is going to be sinking like a canary when they tell her the amount of trouble that she is in right your new passionate you have a brand new passionate beginning coming in um you the star c and someone is throwing a fit about this you have a brand new passionate beginning coming in it could be with a king of cups um but i would be mindful because i see the devil out here it's like someone wants to come towards you to trap you in some type of union just be mindful i don't think right now star c this is the time to be focusing on romance i think this is the time to be focusing on other aspects of your life um because the the, the characters that i see coming towards you i just see like a big question mark about all of them because they are all aware aware of what is going on behind the scenes, but no one has a spine to do something right. So they're all behind the scenes pulling strings to pull, to, to block your forward movement. And it's just kind of weird that a lot of these people are masculines, but they don't operate in their masculine energy, which means that they don't really know how to take charge of their own lives. They think like doing things like this is what makes a man a man. It's that like someone is trying to to humble you, put you in your place, 
if you're a woman they're trying to humble you because of the star c being out here and i see a woman on there that's why i'm saying female but you know energy is fluid in tarot so it's that for some of you women there are a group of men working behind the scenes wanting to humble you put you in your place remind you that you're a woman you're not more powerful than them you don't know more than they do but that's not the truth you're showing up here as a high priestess as well which means that you are extremely powerful the things that these people have to go through the trouble of having to learn it comes to you naturally you don't need to practice any type of magic to have anything done you simply speak and it is and it is it is manifested into existence whereas these people have to use uh magic spell work you put a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that you stare it up and then voila i have a spell work or i have something i can give to someone to cause them some type of discomfort blah 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 we're not here for all of that nonsense it seems so tedious watching them from afar because a lot of us have spiritual gifts so everything these people are doing we can sit down in our homes watching youtube videos and still see what it is they're doing and we can get a good laugh out of it because we know at the end of the day it's not going to prosper into anything um so yeah they can keep entertaining us right um there is a king of cups coming in here uh someone is pissed off that a king of cups may be wanting to give you some type of offer or he sees you as wish fulfillment is that someone is extremely broken by this there's a feminine energy in here that wants this king of cups to be committed to her it's like a woman wanting the man that is interested in you so it's that she's really uh sad about this man not wanting anything to do with her he instead wants to be with you and she is very much pissed off about this so she could be leading this group of comics to come up against you invade your privacy things of that nature this is someone that may have told a lot of lies this is like a queen of cups that may like present herself to be of a specific light that is not hers this, so this is someone pretending to be divine but there is nothing divine about them the universe is not backing them up as a matter of fact their ancestors are probably afraid of the of a lot of the things that they're doing because they know that what this person is doing is just causing them more and more uh, uh, um setbacks in their lineage and someone's ancestor is really are really pissed up at them you know sometimes we incarnate because our ancestors want us to help them come out of the dark right because a lot of our ancestors sometimes are stuck in there in between they're not on earth they are not into the higher spiritual realm they're just lingering in there in between uh very focused on wanting to indulge into the things that the humans are doing because when these people were passing away they either did not feel worthy enough to go to a better place or they were dealing with different type of additions and this they ended up stuck in the in-between, right? So their souls are just lingering. Some of you ancestors have been lingering in this in-between state for thousands of years. And maybe you incarnated in order to free them by changing your mindset in the way that your ancestors did, think, did, did things. Like for me, for example, I know some of my ancestors may have taken the wrong route because I know I've had the same some of the gifts that I have. I've had those same gifts since I was a kid and I had the ability to use them in a dark way. And I've been aware of this from a young age, like three, four, five, six years old. I've always known that I was gifted and had abilities. I've always known that I could either use my gifts in a dark way or a light way, right? And I remember when I was about like six or seven years old, a uh an extended cousin of mine stole something from me right and i have let's let me there here's the story so when i was in africa we had a lot of fruit trees in our gardens and one of the fruit trees we had was a mango tree you all call it mangoes here we call it plums back home so during the uh, um harvest season in my country right we will pick the plums and things like that the fruits 
uh and you know save those so we can eat some people sold them my mom worked as a nurse so we didn't have to sell things in order to survive and things like that we had our hard times like doing the war and all of that um but when we weren't going through those times my mom worked as a nurse and one of the homes that we lived in we had a plum tree behind our kitchen right and before my mom used to come home from work i would go and pick plums for her and put it in the house so that when she came home she would have something to eat because i knew things like that made her happy so i would go out of my way to do that so this one day i go and pick a plum for my mom and i put it in the house well my cousin comes and he steals the plum and he eats it so i already know how my cousin behaves right so i asked him did he eat my plums and he said no and i already know he did it so at a young age i already have a really high sense of awareness right so i asked him again did you eat the plum that i picked from mom and he said no well he ended up leaving while he was leaving to go around my house to go off to his i said in my in my mind if you are the one that took that plum you will get bitten by a snake and will be taken to the hospital and that's how i will know you took the plum so just about let's say a week later my mom receives a call um that tells her that my cousin will had to be taken to the hospital because he had gotten bitten by a snake so that's how i knew that he had taken my plums but as i got as i grew older that was a gift that i put on hold because i was too afraid of the things that i would speak into existence into other people's lives because that's not something that i find alluring something attractive i do not want to interfere with other people's free will now i'm going to be honest there is a little specific time in my life where i will have and this is probably when i was like uh not even a teenager yet i had some healing that i needed to do but obviously i was too young to even understand what that meant where i did used to just speak curses out and they didn't realize that these things were coming into existence so as i got older and realized that i had the ability to manifest the ability to curse and stuff like that i put a cap on that because i don't want my ancestors living in the dark for too long maybe a lot of them have been in this state for thousands of years and maybe i'm the character the child that incarnated this year or this lifetime to uh, uh to to free them from that darkness to let them know that they are worthy of reincarnating so they can have a second chance or whatever chance to ascend to a higher level a higher dimension right a higher realm so a lot of us we don't understand that we incarnate to have to, to give our ancestors another chance to be free to be themselves but some of you out here, especially in this spirit, you don't understand that. And a lot of you don't care as well what your ancestors are going through. Um, you don't know that you are disappointing your entire lineage by doing the things that you're doing. You are keeping your own lineages stuck, right? You're keeping them from thriving. This is why a lot of your lineage are not abundant naturally. You have to pull tricks in order to get things if you have to pull any type of trick to achieve anything in life it is not a blessing that is a curse you are accruing and every time you do things like this you are just setting your lineage back farther and farther and god forbid you're coming up against a star energy you're making things even worse for yourself karma always comes back three times full when you come across uh, when you come up against people like these you're it's even worse right um, so there is a delusion that when you come up, come up against a star sea and something does not happen to you immediately, it is a delusion to think a belief that you are getting away with that. Especially if you are someone with from a religious background, you should know better than that. There is someone going up against a star sea with a very intense spirit. This is someone heavily religious. And they're so religious they don't even understand the religion that they study and this is the fact with a lot of religious people they're so committed to their text uh text the books and stuff that they've been studying they don't quite understand that there is a limitation on the religion that they are studying people are not supposed to be so absolute or absolute about the religion that they are studying this is a setback this is a limited mindset that you are within 
Source does not care who, what you are worshiping as far as religion, whether you are a Buddhist, Islam, Islamic, Judaism, Jainism, uh, Baha'i, all of those people, those religions, Christianity, they don't, the, the source does not care. As long as the religion that you are practicing teaches you to be kind and to be wholehearted where you are helping other people as sin, as long as your religion leads you to source, you are okay at the end of the day. But if you are using your religion to cause stagnation, to manipulate the masses and things like that, this is where religion becomes a problem. And quite honestly, in the grander schemes of things, uh oh, I don't know where my thing cut off from, but here we are. Um, in the grand of things of schemes, religion does not really play a huge role. It's not something that's essential to the cosmos. This is something that is man-made on earth. So whether you're religious or not, the universe does not care. People misusing your religion to force other people or uh, 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 what is it? Overpower people, subdue people. It's not something that the Cosmo is very fond of because they are interfering with people's free will. So there is a religious character that is pissed off and being sat down by the, by the universe because this is someone that misuses their religion and does not quite understand the, con, the principles of their religion, right? What this religion actually stands for. So this is someone misrepresenting this religion to pretend that they are doing something based of a principle or uh, they're trying to do the right thing but this is someone that is not upright this is why we have this four of cups at the bottom of this person this is someone pissed off throwing a fit because they have a misconception about their their own identity so you and this person are of different tracks right different spectrums come from different paths and things like that. You are more so spiritual and this person is religious and they're going up against you, uh, trying to take you down because they see a problem with who you are. You don't see a problem with this person because you don't care what people believe in, what people choose to do with your life. That is their business. You should never be disinvested in anyone's life to try to take them down because it's just not going to lead to anything. Okay, uh, so someone here may be wanting to also come towards you, high priestess, to get you trapped into some type of toxic union where there's a lot of toxicity going on and you're just not having any part of it. This is not your portion in life. You're not meant to be trapped in any type of toxic union, uh, blah, 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 all of that. So just keep, a, 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 just keep your mind on that. You are not part of this shenanigans that's going on is that someone wants to break you there is the king of king of cups in here that is trapped in some type of union as well and it can be like a collaboration an institution a code a coving a lot of people are trapped in here and there's a lot of dark work going on um but we're going to leave them in that because this energy has been appearing in most of my readings about this coving this dark energy um and i'm kind of just tired of reading them it's exhausting at this point like change your lives do something new something different change your perspective see things from a higher perspective i guess there is magic going on in here so the fact that we have the devil out here and the magician lets me know that there is magic going on here but there's dark magic and light magic there's the light worker that these people are going up against and then there's the dark worker that are using magic to cause some type of illusion and things like that and these are people collaborating behind the scenes right there is someone powerful in this uh scenario that does want to meet with you starcy um and this is what people are trying to block um, this person wants to meet with you. They may want to collaborate with you, come together with you and create some type of reality, some type of new business because this person sees you as someone extremely uh, gifted and they may want to teach you how to do something. So it could be that you are gifted, not skilled. So this person is going to come in and teach you the skills that you need in order to maybe even protect yourself and perfect your craft, whatever it is you're doing. But there is a very powerful figure that is going to be meeting with you. And this is what these people are trying to prevent. Um, there is some type of plan. These people are still planning. 
they are planning to steal something from you. They want to come in and cause you some type of mental conflict where you don't choose the right thing. Someone wants to send you some type of false victory. They may be wanting to send some type of kink of cups towards you to make it seem like they're in love with you and things like that. Um, just so you can be straight off this path and choose the wrong opportunity so that you don't get to work with this powerful figure. You have caught the attention of a very powerful person. And I don't even think you are aware of that. This person is watching from behind the scenes and they are aware of the things that are going on. Someone in here is pulling a lot of tricks to block communication so that this person cannot communicate with you. But this person knows what is going on. So do not be uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, disappointed. They know what's going on. And this is how the universe has it set up. What's going on is that all of these people are exposing themselves uh and they don't realize it they may think that they are fooling this masculine but this is someone gifted if you can see they're showing up out here as the magician that means that this is someone that's gifted and they know the truth right so you can tell the, these types of people something and they'll listen to you but they're going to do their own research to find to find the truth out for themselves right so this person knows that there are interferences going on that are intended to block this meeting, this collaboration from coming into place, but it still will. This is like a beautiful uh, new reality that's supposed to come about. So maybe someone that's religious and someone spiritual coming together. This is what's happening. Uh, and there is that spiritual character in here that is so spiritual, it is toxic. This masculine that is wanting to co uh, uh, collaborate with you, maybe going through some type of changes as well, um, but we're not going to elaborate on that because that is their personal business. But there is a whole institution here that is extremely pissed off that this person wants to work with you. Just be, just be in the know about that, okay? Be mindful of a king of cups that wants to come towards you. There is balance being brought into this situation. The fact that I'm seeing the justice car out here and the chariot car means absolutely that the police is involved in here. So this solidifies me mentioning that someone is going to be going to prison jail. People will be facing a lot of legal consequences for the actions that they have taken because this is something that has to do with legalities or this is just something that people should not be interfering with. This is like a work opportunity that is intended for some of you. And these people have interfered with that, which means that this is something legal that they interfere with and they don't realize it for some of you, right? So they've committed crimes already just by taking actions against you. So there is balance being brought into this situation because things are being re-looked over, re-examined and things like that. And there, this is, uh, uh, this is going to ensure your forward movement. This is going to help you seal the karma waters, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, take your family out of some type of like, there is some type of revelation that is going on about the truth that has to do with some finances. Someone may have stolen some finances from you all, or someone was trying to steal some finances from you by pretending presenting themselves to have either some type of relation with you to you pre pretending to have your best interest at heart someone may have forged some documents and things like that so there's a lot of trickery that is going on but there's a tower moment going on here because the truth is being revealed the truth is being it's being spoken and your 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 wealth is being protected so do not worry about that you will have fulfillment in life this is your divine inheritance right and this is something that's going to lead to abundance for you uh, i just heard like there are people that want to see you struggling and just having to work and work and this is because this is the energy these people are in they are have been forced to work for everything in life uh so they think that everybody else has to do the same thing as you i'm this is not how it works just because someone stagnated your growth at some point and prevented you from prospering in life like you were meant to it does not mean that you are meant to do that to other people and it does not mean that you're going to succeed in doing that to other people everything that's going on is divinely guided it's divinely uh, put in place to happen so there's nothing that's happening that's out of alignment alliance alignment with the universe everything has been set to happen as it is happening 
and this meeting this collaboration is going to happen when it's supposed to because all of these people need to be um remove out of the equation out of the situation before this union can, can come into place this collaboration can, can come together so these people are not doing anything that they're not meant to do but there is some type of illusion that dark workers live under where they think they are cause they're doing something on the grandest level oh i'm gonna go take this person down and i'm gonna send them spell work you were created to do that you were created for the sole purpose to come after this person so that they can learn through all of these different experiences and can continue to ascend. This is an ascended, ascended master, someone that's already educated, educated in secret knowledge and things like that. So you're not doing anything to stagnate this person. This is part of their purpose. Everything you're doing, this person is part of it. This person is growing from it. So is that you investing all of your energy to take someone down only for them to say oh well oh yeah i can use their energy to do this oh i can use their energy to do that this is an alchemist a natural alchemist so what you have to learn comes naturally to this person so you're really just entertaining this person in the universe at the end of the day i have to remember to add some of my dry humor in here sometimes because i get so serious but that's all that's happening here the actions these people are taking against you are just intended to help you grow, okay? And I know for a lot of you, you could be going through a really tough period right now, whether it be emotional, physical, spiritual, whatever it is, it's all gonna come to pass. It's just meant to help you grow. That's all it is, okay? Um, but just know that what these people intended for you is happening to them. This is how it was always meant to be as well. So all of the confusion they were trying to cause you they're the ones experiencing it it's like <coughs> excuse me it's like a group of people coming together to do spell work they all have their parts that they play but after they're done doing the spell work they're the ones that are experiencing the headache the heartache heartache the confusion all of that not you right but they're still determined to steal something from you Someone may be trying to get you into some type of legal trouble, but it's not going to happen. Um, this is how they think they can get you out of the equation by, you know, lying on you, setting you up, things like that. But it's not going to happen because you're not someone that's meant for that path. These people are the ones that are facing legal issues, right? Uh, someone got the law involved secretly. Someone is everything people are doing it's being recorded and it's being given to law enforcement is what i'm being told you're showing up here as the queen of swords as well and as a high priestess we're just going to let that talk for itself there is a queen of swords in here that has legal issues coming and this is because this person thought that they were invincible they did break a lot of legal laws and things like that um why did i say legal laws that's like that's redundant someone here broke a lot of laws and they're going to be facing a lot of legal issues legal problems right and they thought they were invincible this is someone cold-hearted right they may have gone to a high priestess or this person considered themselves to be a high priestess but i'm not really getting that they are a high priestess this is just someone that does things behind closed doors manipulation lies decept dece deception uh things of that nature to get what it is that they want but you also you're showing up in all of these different energies and it's just beautiful it's like for each situation or scenario you know what energy to take on in order to succeed and keep ascending and keep thriving because you're showing up here too as the magician so you've taken charge of your life you're showing up as the uh, a star c meaning that you are aware that you are someone that is of a high ranking right someone very spiritual guided by the cosmos you're very well educated um things like that you are someone confident very someone very brave and emotionally and mentally stable you have calmed that beast within um so you're showing up here as the queen of swords as well and the high priestess there are so many different aspects of you and it looks that you have learned how to balance out all of those aspects of yourself and use them adequately and properly at the right time kudos to you um 
whatever this has to do with this devilish energy has to do with it is not for you um yeah someone wants to come in and cause you some type of illusion and it's just not going to go according to plan this is an, a, a a delusional mindset that someone needs to let go of because whatever it is these people are a part of it is not for you okay so i'm gonna pull a card and see because i want clarity on this devil card spirit i need a card on this devil card please i need something clarifications on this devil card yeah someone wants to come in get you trapped into some type of toxic uh collaboration toxic relationship they want to make it seem like they're telling you the truth uh whatever it is but someone else will be coming in to tell you the truth there is a message that's coming in so keep an eye on your emails and things like that yeah someone is being forced to walk away so someone wanted to come in and cause you some type of illusion and things like that but they know they cannot trick you so they're being forced to walk away right yeah Ooh. yeah someone wanted to come in to force yeah it's exactly what i'm saying someone wanted to come in and cause some type of illusion for a marriage or union with you this is someone extremely toxic this is someone that's part of this group but it's not happening. They're being forced to walk away and give up on this uh, 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 union. This is someone toxic. For some of you, this is what this group wants this masculine to do. Give up on this union and things like that. But it's not going to happen. Uh, this is something something divinely meant to be. So this union will be coming together. As far as someone coming into your life to cause you illusions and things like that, it's not happening this person is blocked out of your energy and this is because this is not someone that is you enough to even be around you that should let you know how powerful you are when the universe blocks people out of your energy that does not match it have a good day